Uh, so what we're dealing with is Formula 3. We are uh, Ford Chip Ganassi Racing. So that's going to be interesting. Um, I haven't gotten any new drivers yet, and neither has the AI. I think I saved, like, just beforehand. I did, because, yeah, there's this, where it's just, like, fan reaction to, uh, to my appointment is mixed. Because what I did was the fun thing of, yeah, backstory unknown. No one, literally no one knows whom I am. You know, loyalty, like, just doesn't exist. This is the first, uh, first one, Championship F3. So we are going against, uh... There's a thing somewhere where I can find it, but I forgot where. So we are going against BMW, Bugatti, uh, we're Ford Ship Ganassi Racing. Uh, there's Geely Volvo. Ah, wow, that is a... Ah, that was a lot more difficult than it should have been to pronounce. There's Geely Volvo. That was difficult to pronounce this. Volvo. That's just weird. Anyway, uh, Honda Racing Team, uh, Jaguar, Lamborghini, Lotus, Nissan. Uh, I think it's Peugeot, that's how that's pronounced. Uh, Team Penske and Toyota, and then that's it for Formula 3. So we are Chip Ganassi Racing. Now all the drivers, what, what this mod does, it just yeets all the drivers in every single series, I think. Or at least in the series that you decide to take over. Uh, yeah, so all the drivers in your season, basically. Uh, are basically up for grabs if we start fresh in the new series. So in my case, for Formula 3, everyone's up for grabs. Everything starts basically from scratch. All teams can hire whoever they want, including me, who I can hire uh, whoever I want. So that includes the reserve driver. Um, shoot, I forgot. Oh, this is at that save, wasn't it? Oh, man. Well, approach driver, and he's interested. This is for reserve status. So we'll put him on for... Ooh, ooh. Prefers okay. This is this is the thing. Status isn't important, so I don't think he'll mind being a reserve driver. So we'll do end of 22, which is a short contract and cost. Wages aren't very important. We'll do minimum just to save money. Again, this is for reserve, so we should be fine. Uh, da, 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 da. what am I forgetting? I think it's the home page. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Uh, actually, let's go to the calendar here. So we have eight races in this season. I forget how many laps. 31 laps. That doesn't seem right. Can I change that, actually? I don't think I can uh, once I set that. Game settings. Uh, ah, career career session length. Medium. And then I think that carries over to the... Nope, it does not. Okay, cool. I'll see what Reese and Oliver have to say about their contracts. Oh, I just saw something. Hold on, I saw something else in the... Give me the calendar. There we go. Contract proposal for Behrman. Oh. Oh, it's just an interview request with BBC out of absolutely nowhere. Okay, fine. Uh, accept interview, sure. And we will move on to the next day with Reese Gold's contract. Back to negotiation. Last chance. What? Oh, it defaulted because it... Oh, oh it defaulted, didn't it? Uh-oh. Did it default because I didn't do the uh, proper save? I must have missed something because I did save as the thing was going out, but uh, we'll do a sign-on fee of 300000 uh and a higher wage. This is his last chance, so if we lose him, we're kind of screwed. But I think we're good. Let's do... Yeah, let's do 300000 That's nice and even. Let's hope it didn't default like that with Behrman's contract as well, because if it did, I will be sad. Uh, it's not his last chance. His wages, wages are very important. Let's up it to like 500000 and we should be fine. So we need to wait for Jack Crawford as well. Oh, there's more contract proposals. Oh no. Okay, so Jack Crawford for a reserve driver. He wants to renegotiate. Wages are very important. Bro, you're a reserve driver, but all right then. Almost 500,000. <laughs> picky, picky, picky. Gosh. They're all considering right now. I'm a bit terrified. Let's see how this goes. Because we have nine days until the Grand Prix. Insulted? What? What do you mean insulted? There's no way you're signing a deal. I gave you what you wanted. I gave you more money. All right, fine. Fuck you. Interesting. Let's go back to negotiation, bro. Bro, you are an F3, Bearman. Come on. Why are you insulted? How are you insulted? You're not that special. You're 16. It's F3. You know what? Fine. 800,000. Final offer. If you don't like that, then go away. Event calendar screen. I know, I'm trying. 
Six days. Oh gosh. I have two days before I can figure out driver things. Or before the Grand Prix. I don't think this is going well. Wind tunnel. Don't care. Don't care. Contract renegotiation. I think I broke the save. What the heck? You say wages aren't very important. But you're insulted. What means far below their expectations? You just said they weren't important. I think, I think, hold on, hold on. I think actually this is probably bugged. So I'm going to start a new game. <laughs> Hang on. Actually, I have an idea. Uh, let me load game here. Let me do the very... Is this, is this the very first save that I did? I think. I think it's this one. I think it's... Uh, I don't remember. I think it's the second one here. Let's see if that would do it. Because uh, that's... I, I feel like that's a bug with when I saved it. It's kind of scuffed, I think. Yeah, let's, let's go with Oliver Behrman here. Okay. Wages aren't very important to me. My status is... Okay, equal status. 2022. A signing on fee isn't very important. Bonus size isn't important. Bonus size isn't important. Qualifying and race bonus. Okay. 568,000 per race. Please don't screw this up. <laughs> oh, I didn't do pit crew either. I need to do that. Somebody remind me about that, please. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da. We also need to find a driver to replace the second, which is going to be Zach O'Sullivan, who is here. There he is. So we have relatively equal performing drivers. He's interested. Wages are fairly are fairly important to me. My status is important. For a short contract, signing on fee isn't important. So, six hundred thousand ish. And fine driver, which is going to be Bearman for ah no Reese Gold. If that's who it was, uh, Reese Gold for reserve, just so we can get them out there. Short contract wages are fairly important. So let's do say almost seven hundred thousand. I prefer signing on fee. Sure, I can do that. Two hundred forty thousand. And we'll go from there. Uh, Arenas VK has been signed to uh, BMW Motorsport for Formula 3. 9.1 million per year. Oh my goodness. Uh, Christian Lungard? No. Wait, for F3? Wait, BMW Motorsport is F3, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And Rasmussen. Whoa. BMW has money. Not the best car though, but they have money. <laughs> Dude, BMW is. I don't think I can see their balance either, which makes obvious sense, but that is ridiculous. They're in the same series as us, by the way. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned. The contract offer accepted from uh, Reese Gold. Sure thing. Um, contract degree deadline eight days. Who did I sign for? Uh, ah, I signed Reese for reserve. Oh, I didn't mark it that. Oh, did I? Did I mark him as? Ooh, I put him as equal status. That's a bit awkward. Hold on a second. Uh, he won't be happy about this. But that's on me. At least he's accepted. I think we'll be fine. He's not gonna be happy. Yeah, he's not happy. Uh, it should be no secret that I'm not enjoying my time. I'm not saying I'm going to leave, but if an awkward comes in, I'm going to consider it. You just started! I know I signed you as a reserve, I'm sorry. Or as equal status, technically, but I you literally just got here. I know, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Don't pass on the don't pass on the outlap, you dick. Wait, who who is that trying to pass on the outlap there? Not O'Sullivan, it's somebody else. Who's right next to him? Words of Lotus Racing. Good to know. As far as I know, we're also on, or as far as I know, everyone else is on fresh tires, or fresh, super soft. So, we'll see how that goes. Overheated brakes, but it should be fine. Whereas, can you just piss off, please? Go away, I don't care if you're faster. You weren't there in the final session. The practice sessions. Fuck off. Oh my gosh, he's just going to be hounding us throughout the whole lot. This is why I did used... Uh... BK of the fastest lap so far. An actual fast lap this time has actually been put in. Oh my gosh, words, get out of the fucking way, you dick. Come on. Lingard with 145.5, please. Come on, O'Sullivan. How's Behrman doing? He's a form 10 out of 10. I think he's fine. 
Okay, I don't think we'll have enough time to do another lap, so... Ah, I should have brought in O'Sullivan. I should have called him in. Full position goes to Christian Lungard with BMW. That is mildly terrifying. Ah, uh, O'Sullivan, please. Please have pace. I think one side of the grid almost has super sauce, one side doesn't. Hmm. I am interested. There is our O'Sullivan rounding out the grid. I am sad. Oh boy. Awful start because somebody in front of us didn't get going. Never mind. Great start. Bearing, you're doing fantastic. <laughs> you didn't get going in front of us. Someone that's just stopped basically on track. I think we're good. Bearman's battling uh, Lungard for f fourth place. He's battling Martins. Selvin's charged up three positions in one lap so far. I think we're good. Oh, that's just... Oh, Cameron Dasson getting a drafted penalty for causing a collision. Ooh. It's the same one that happened for... Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's off? Who's off? Is it Das? It's Das. Engine failure. Oh, no. Oh, Nissan. Four laps in. 26 laps to go. We're going to have to start thinking about pit stops at some point. I'm scared to fast forward because of all these things that check tire pressure. Um, yeah, what's up? What happened? Something off? It looks fine. The tire pressures look good. You think you have a puncture? Does he have a puncture? That still hasn't uh, served to strike the penalty yet. Which tires is he on? Uh, yes. This is fine. This is fine. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Oh, oh gosh. No, pass him. Pass him. It's fine. Colette has a mechanical issue. Easy pass. That's the second mechanical failure. This time it is for Bugatti. Oof. It's a Nissan, Bugatti, who else? If I was their uh, engineer, I'd be a bit worried for their teammate. Well, a lot more than a bit worried, but you know. This might be the time where we have 19 seconds to react here at the Lever Pits. We have less than 19 seconds to react if second place pits. I think we're good. If Martin's pits, we're kind of screwed. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is going to be the lap that I'm going to have them push uh, to go to pits. Let's we'll just see what Maloney does. Let's see if, if, if Maloney pits, then yeah, it's a mandatory stop. This person is really getting on the Sullivan's nerves. Bad. Like with Sullivan, attempting to overtake, and a new personal sector. Nice. Okay. Does anyone... Does, does Maloney pit, specifically? I think it's to the end? No, there's no way. I don't know if you need to change tire compounds. I forget. But I'm not going to pit if we don't actually need to. That's the thing. Because everyone here... Ooh, oh, there's live championship standings? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I actually never knew about that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. This is an important thing here. The AI... I can't... I can't click on this for some reason, but the mini tire history, the AI has changed to the same set. So I don't think different sets are required. We could do super soft to super soft, I think. Unless the AI is just being stupid. In that case, who knows? So Martin's going on to a separate set of tires. If he does, then I have my answer. Either way, we're pitting Behrman this lap. That's for sure. Who else is in pit lane? Uh, Yini is in pit lane. Same set. Okay, that answers my question. Yini's in pit lane. What about his tires? Same set. Okay, yep, entirely answers my question. And we are good to go to pit road. O'Sullivan, you are also pitting this exact same lap because... Ugh. Close enough to attack Foster. Ooh. I want to try and go for a risky stop. It'll be nine seconds, but uh, it's not going to be. It's not going to matter. Pretty safe. I have about twenty seconds between my drivers, so we should be okay. 
Yeah, I, I just need to wait for that before I did anything. So yeah, you can change onto the same compound. So the answer to that question. So it's not F1 rules purely, which makes me relax a little bit. But now I'm curious as to what Burr's Messing and Lungard are doing. Or uh, BMW and Lotus, really. Oh, great angle. Hey, where's our teammate? Uh, final corner-ish. So we're good. Yep, yeah, we're good. We're good. No way. Oh my gosh, they pit behind us too. Sweet. Now Sullivan's in pit road. No issues, no issues. No issues. No issues. Yes, solid stop. Like Sullivan's defending. Come on, Zach, you're good, you're good. I mean, this is a great drive for Zach though. Don't get me wrong. He started 24th. He started dead last. Dude's 15th right now. Oh no. One of the blades in the front wing seems damaged. I knew I should have changed it when I saw it 50%. Um, 27% too. Shit. Okay, where are you at in relation to 5th, 6th, 7th? Fuck. Be lucky if we can get... Okay, okay. Action. No, no, no tires. Just fix the front wing. 16 seconds. We'll be battling for 10th place after the stop. Fuck. Oh, do we have to? I mean, I guess we have to. I don't like the fact that the rear wing is uh, getting there as well. Yeah, we, we kind of have to. We, we kind of have to. We don't exactly have a choice. Yeah, and if we fix the rear wing, that's pretty much race over. So we'll do the front wing. <sighs> Shit, what about Sullivan's conditions? He's fine. Come on, guys. Prepare that front wing. If Dar if, if Behrman's battling for 5th place or for top 10, that's fine. Because he'll still be in 10th. That's all I care about. It's just first race getting points. Oh, barely. Just barely. I want to up to 11th, actually. Is that Toyota? I saw something on the underside of the front wing might be damaged. Are you serious? I just looked and it was at 40%. That is stupid. Alright, I guess we have to mandatorily, like, change the front wing or something every stop. Oh, he caused a collision. Oh. No action taken. That's good, because we're kind of... Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Gosh, everything is going relatively okay, and then this happens. That's her guinea with the fastest lap. Gosh. Oh, safety car! You want to put the safety car out? Uh, it's, um... We literally just missed it because the safety car is right there. Wait, we still have time. Oh, but can't get back through the field though. Um. Oh no. Hold on. Do we want to pit with the safety? No. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Safety car is out. I know. I have an idea for Sullivan, so we can catch him and break. Keep him on the same tires, but uh, repair this. Twenty nine seconds. Uh oh. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I don't want to pit, because what would be the point exactly for everything? Not entirely sure. The safety car just came out. Like, literally right behind Behrman. A few laps left of safety car. Ooh, this is going to be... We're going to pit O'Sullivan, sure. Let's let's pit O'Sullivan. I'm, I don't know about Behrman. Behrman's are our best bet for points right now. O'Sullivan's kind of our backup in case anything explodes, almost quite literally. Last set of tires. It's gonna be like a three lap shootout here. Something off with the gear shifts. Oh no, oh, they, I was gonna repair that anyway. Oh my gosh, why? Why? why was it through random failures? Okay, they are going to do that, so that's good. Safety car is somewhere. The race should be neutralized. They shouldn't be, like, passing each other or anything like that. Safety car is... Somewhere. Oh, it's over there. Uh, do we pit Behrman or not? 
What, what, what did the leaders do? That's what I want to know. They stay out. They stay out. Five lives remaining. Oh, wait. Oh, camera crashed. Uh oh. Uh, do we pit? I think we're going. I think we're going to pit. Two laps left. I don't know. But we kind of have to anyway. Is the the parts of the car are kind of screwed? Estimate position after pit stop. We 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 should do this just in case. Uh, at that point, Monster will just change our eighty second pit. The pain. Let's, let's do a fast stop and try and get that down. I forgot I can do that. <laughs> I am mildly concerned. I, this is why we can't have nice things. A minute held. Take the cars over there. Oh gosh. But two laps left of a safety car. Conserve. I don't think he's going to make it in time. I don't know. We don't have any issues yet. We're doing the rear wing now. Oh, they did the gear. Oh, that's not a full bar for each. It's half. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We're good. We're good. We have time. Did the risk actually just work? Oh, my gosh, it did. <laughs> Sweet. And we're 22nd and 23rd. Fuck. He's literally just going to be stuck here, isn't he? Yep, pretty much. I should have had him stay out, but there's the, the parts of the car anyway. Well, if we get 15th, I'll be happy. But even still, kind of annoyed. You know, Sullivan is also getting just kind of held up, so... Man, that sucks. This VK is locked up, apparently. 16th. What a disaster, yeah. I honestly agree, that was a fucking disaster. Factory staff idle. You guys just got done doing something, relax. Oh my gosh. Jeez, the second they're done, it's like, hey guys, we need something to do, quick. Give us something to do. It's like, no, just relax. Oh, this is like previous votes, okay. Check, track changes. Oh. So the remove track is track layout B, the add track is track layout A. Track layout B. Placing Munich with Guildford. Oh. Hmm. I see. So the current race in Munich will be replaced by Guildford, taking its place on the calendar for next season. That was like a fairly high speed track. I don't know. That's a good question. This is Munich. So qualifying is going to be rainy. I'm only mildly terrified. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I forgot about the rain. That's great. Okay, it's going to be quite rainy, so we will change the tires. It's a good thing I waited. I think it's going to be intermediate uh, condition. That, so we'll change that. Because it, yeah, it looks like it's going to be intermediate for a couple of their runs. So I need to do this like right the heck now before I forget. It just looks like it dips off, but I don't know because we don't have a forecast for that. So, a lot of the people are locking up apparently. Yikes. A lot of the people saying new fast sectors too. But we are not, which is mildly concerning. I'm bringing Behrman in time. I'm bringing Behrman. Actually, not cancel. I want him to have the time. Okay, 8th and 6th. And the water is leaving the circuit. Shoot. Okay. I was going to see if I could just call him in. Get to the end, but I didn't know if that would be the best idea. Alright, we're starting already. Oh. Found a bug. <laughs> oh well. Now we know. And lights out. Alright, let's do this. Top seven immediately pitting. I already know that much. We're not gonna make it to the end. 
Oh my gosh, this car's facing in and out of each other. What the fuck was that? Someone's off already. Is it Larson? Yep. Larson ran away. He like to face the existence of... Oh my gosh. Hang on a second. What is going on here? Mini up to second on soft tires. Chairman and O'Sullivan are essentially in a 1-2-ish position. Where does that put us in team championship standings? We're going to need like two more positions here. Three more positions. Oh no. So many trees here. Oh my gosh. It's definitely Germany if it's just trees everywhere. I should have said the, uh, the Nürburgring. Right, maybe I'll bring in... Um... Oh gosh, I forgot his name already, which is mildly concerning. What about the guy who I accidentally stuck on reserve? Well, I stuck on reserve accidentally on purpose, but I set him under the assumption he would be a fast driver. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring him in for a race. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But Behrman's, Behrman's consistent. He's fine. He's actually performing uh, very well. Well, good news and bad news at least. Uh, with that overtake press, oh gosh. Behrman's created a gap between himself and Yini. Or Yini. Uh, but bad news is he hasn't really caught up to Hoggard. I mean, he's still sticking with him at least. So that is a good sign. In fact, he's, a he's definitely closer this time than last time. Yeah, he's way closer. He's caught up to him. All right, lap time comparisons. Waiting, start, finish line. Faster. Oh, gosh. Hoggard and Behrman are, like, even on pace. I don't like that. All right, we'll wait for those tires to drop off for, uh, for the others, for the soft tire runners. That's all we can do right now. How's the championship player team standings doing? How's Jaguar in seventh? Where the hell did they come from? Purple. Uh, oh, Marty. Interesting. The Peugeot we need to get by. Which basically this much is... Oh, it's not just Hoggard, is it? No, it's just Hoggard. Yeah. Yeah, the Peugeot driver is uh, way out of the points. Something gotten the shit together finally. Go for it, let's go. One uh, position closer to the top ten is better. Like Zach, please just be good. For, like the whole race. Not use all the fuel, but we'll push for his in lap here. Pretty much the halfway point of the race as well, so the AI might be considering pitting soon. And so will we. So estimated tire life. Let's go with this one. This one's actually gonna give us more security just in case. The only thing that terrifies me is this engine and everything else. Should be okay. Estimate position 22nd after pit stop. Gosh. Oh man. I wanted to be in clear air. But we'll risk a fast uh a faster stop. Uh oh, it's all low risk, I see. Stake chance is like five percent. Oh yeah, sure. Oh wait, that's for O'Sullivan? Whoops. Did that by mistake. No wonder why it said like 23rd. I'm just like, yeah, that didn't click for some reason. But uh, we'll do a risking, a, a fast stop. Expected position, 20th. Yikes. Let's wait a couple of laps. To tell O'Sullivan to push. So let's give him a couple of laps. 18 laps to go. He's out of tires. Please don't mess up, guys. You did this once before. You can do it again. And they failed. Mess up the tires. Was it Wade? I bet it was censored by GMA Wade. Like, you're still you're still in line to get points. You're good. Just relax. Tori has just dropped out uh, from potential point scoring spot. And issues with the engine. This is why we can't have nice things. We might make it to the end with this engine, as much as we really shouldn't be, but we might make it to the end here. The car's literally falling apart. Oh my gosh. Our reliability is awful. I am terrified. 
Three left. Fuck, there it is. Should have known. It wasn't giving me the percentage. I said 60, I just said 27, 16, and 10. Why not? No. Fuck, I knew I should have repaired, but even though. At least we stuck it out until the end. That's annoying as fuck. Uh, and then we just have the Sullivan who's kind of existing here, doing literally nothing important for us. Somehow he just doesn't have the pace. On the lap, yay. That is actually annoying. Wow. Yeah, 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 worn tires. 30% is nothing. This is almost the end of the race. Lingard wins for BMW. Uh, of course he does. Can't confirm. Race was a disaster. Fuck, that sucks. That is genuinely annoying. Man, that's that actually sucks. Oh, uh, here we're thinking, yeah, he can probably make it to the end with a, you know, sketchy engine, right? Sure, maybe. No, he didn't. He did not. I'm mildly annoyed about that.